Hello friend, welcome to the channel solution. In today's video, I am going to demonstrate you the effect of drug on frog heart. Basically, this is experiment based on in silico method. In silico means a experimental method or protocol where we do not use any experimental animal or its part in a real case. We have to assume it as a real but it is not actually real. That means it is in a virtual form. So to perform that practical in a virtual form, we need any simulation software. And for today's experiment, we are using XForm as a software or we can say simulation experimental protocol. So this is the basic interface of this XForm software where you can see many tabs, many instruction tab, which are as follows. The first one, as you can see on your screen, is direction tab, where you will get any tutorial message, what to do, how to do. These are the basic instruction, I must say, so that anyone can follow the instruction and work accordingly. So this tutorial says, inject drug one by one and observe their effect on frog heart. Also note how agonist and antagonist interact with each other. That means in this experimental protocol, we need to inject the drug one by one towards the experimental methodology. And we have to observe the effect of that particular drug which you have introduced or injected. So there are so many drugs listed inside the application. So we need to go one by one. And one more thing that we have to understand the what is the meaning of agonist and antagonist and we need to also follow the instruction which is given under the direction tab which is interaction between agonist and antagonist means which drug is acting as a agonist and which drug is acting as an antagonist this is a basic principle or we can say tutorial or direction of this particular simulation software so that apart from this we can see the recording controls at the present, I have pushed the stop button. That is why the graph is on its actual position. It's not moving toward the left side. But once I will click on continue, the graph will start moving toward the left side. This graph is basically a baseline because we have not introduced any kind of drug over the heart with the help of PSS. That's a physiological salt solution. So the graph will be on a baseline. So let me stop it again. Once you will inject the drug, the graph will start showing the changes or we can say effect of that particular drug which you have selected on the heart of the frog so that we can easily compare the graph before administrating the drug and after administration of that particular drug. So the graph will give you the clear indication about the effect of that particular drug which you have selected. So let's continue to the next tab that is the help tab. Here you will find the basic instruction what to do next. Here I have placed the stop button on. So that is why instruction is saying click continue to the run the recorder. So as per the instruction, if I will click on continue, the graph will continuously move towards the left side. But let me again push the stop button. So this is the basic protocol, basic uh, interface of this application. Let's move to the next protocol tab or interface of this particular software. This is the exit button. In under the exit tab, you will find next button, return button, table button and new button. Next will next button will let you go to the question answer section. Return is simply a back button. Table will calculate the basic parameter or basic effect of the particular drug which you have selected one by one. And the new means the new heart will come where we have not introduced any drug. This is a freshly heart. So these are not so useful. We will use only return and new tab. So apart from this two tab, three tab, there is another two tabs which are very important. The next one is setup tab where you can see the instrument is set up properly where you can also observe the beating of the heart this heart is beating that means this is a real animal we have to assume i must say we have to assume i have stated you in the earlier cases we have to assume that this is a real heart of the frog and this is a reservoir where we place physiological salt solution and all these are the cannula which are attached to the liver of the heart uh, which are attached to the heart so that we can record the graph and this is the liver and this is the chromograph drum we can say it is a basic interface of the chromograph drum so that record can be recorded next one is current level of drug that means if you inject a drug in the initial stage that will be in on full strength but slowly slowly the dose or we can say strength of the drug will start reducing toward the end side so this indicate the level of drug as like a battery of our mobile indicator it indicate full charge and once your mobile getting slowly slowly down toward the end of the battery you can see or observe the fall down of the towers like structure so this will be show you like this next one is drug selection panel drug selection panel means a panel which allow you to select a drug 
Drug means those drug which are already listed or inbuilt drug. We cannot add any new drug here or we cannot delete the older one. So what we have options are drug. If you click this pop up window or drop down arrow, you will find the listed drug. These are epinephrine, norepinephrine, isoprenaline, calcium chloride, propranolol, acetylcholine, potassium chloride and atropine sulfate. These are inbuilt software and these are drug included in that inbuilt category so let's select one by one but before that we need to explain one more thing that is a dose dose is by default set by the software development company so we cannot change the dose this is a prefix dose so if you select the drug the drugs dose will automatically reflect here then after at the bottom of the dose tab you will find inject that means you have to select the drug then after you have to inject so that the drug will start it uh, start producing its action so this was the basic interface let's start the beginning or let's start the procedure to understand the concept of drug its effect on the frog heart so these are the drug list i am going to select the epinephrine just after selecting of the epinephrine click the button on inject so now concentrate your pure of you concentrate your mind over the graph before administration of this drug there was a baseline graph but once you have injected a drug there is a change in the graph and here in the drug current level you can see this is gradually decreasing so now the drug is not acting remaining drug is injected before the uh, showing the graph so we have to click on stop button so that you can easily compare the effect of drug before its administration and after its administration so just focus on the recorder tab where you can see there are two types of graph this one is a baseline which where uh, which which is indicating the effect without giving any drug and this one which is looking like a, a bell of the stumps which we, which we play in the cricket so this is indicating there is a fluctuation in the graph fluctuation means there is something happening and that something may be something <laughs> let me clear you what is that so see before administration of the drug the basic heart rate ward basal heart rate ward 84 but once you have injected epinephrine see this abbreviation is written as a epi that denote epinephrine so once you have injected epinephrine on the heart of the frog the heart rate changed to 89 so this was the 84 earlier and now it is 89 so there is increase in the heart rate so we can say epinephrine increase the heart rate so this was a basic experimental protocol now make you clear ki effect of drug depends on its physiological or pharmacological property so to make you better understand let's select another drug you can continue with the selection of new drug or you can click on the new tab so if you clicking the new tab a new recorder tab will be open so let me click on this new button so once i have clicked the new button as you can see in the recorder tab a new and fresh baseline graph is plotting so let me stop this on the midpoint so that we can easily observe and compare what is the effect of the drug after administration so let me allow for few more seconds okay now i am clicking on stop button now we have to select another drug so click on the drug selection panel their drugs are epinephrine which we have already performed non epinephrine isoprenaline calcium chloride and other things so what we have to select just let's select acetylcholine is on you the process will be the same the effect of the drug will be different so let's select acetylcholine and the do drugs dose is already prefixed that is we cannot change the dose of the particular drug now we have to inject it so focus your concentration towards the recorder side as well as on the heart so that we can easily compare the rate of heart that is heart rate what is the heart rate before administration of drug and what is the heart rate after the administration of drug frequency of contraction and relaxation can also be observed on this panel that is setup panel so i have selected acetylcholine dose is fixed that is 2 mg and then we have to inject so after injection the graph will change and it will show its effect so see on the current level of drug the concentration and strength of drug is gradually decreasing now the drug is not acting so we have to click another time on stop button so as you can see it was the earlier heart rate tab or graph it was 69 but once we have administered the acetylcholine the heart rate decreased towards the downside and that is 50 so there is a difference 
<coughs> in heart rate before giving or before administration of drug and now after give admission of drug there is a 11 point reduction in the heart rate that means we can say acetylcholine decrease heart rate so this was a simple experiment simple procedure and simple handling procedures we can easily understand the concept with the help of x form software in the description tab of this video you will find the basic instruction which we have to follow before using this application or simulation software you can also get another video based on x form software that is the effect of drug on rabbit eye which is also included in our playlist so you can find that particular video in playlist of pharmacological experimental section so that's it for the day thank you so much for watching this video i must say all practicals should be on in silico method so that there is a there is we can reduce the involvement of any animal either directly or indirectly and that will be a great contribution towards the society as well as for the animal point of view thank you again take care